Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of a long-term relationship, relationship security. This is um, something that can last a lifetime. This is someone who's very invested. This is material as well as spiritual abundance. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Fool, Aquarius energy, and the Page of Pentacles, Earth energy. So you could have spent a lot of time on your own. There could have been a period where you were just doing you uh, or you've been single for a while with the Hermit being here. You've learned to kind of like your own company, your time in solitude. Um, but it does look like a new love could be coming in here with the Fool and the Page of Pentacles. Someone you know, has really caught feelings for you. And with the fool, there's something unique about this person. Perhaps it's the way they fall for you, or they could just be different from your usual type, or there's something just unique about the situation. But this person is, you know, kind of introducing you to a new world, um, introducing you to their world, and making you some sort of an offer, an, an opportunity is being created here. With the Page of Pentacles, this person will definitely go out of their way to try to get your attention. This is a consistent person. This is a person who, like, when it comes to relationships, they take them seriously. They want this kind of Ten of Pentacles type of uh, connection. This is someone who, when they commit, they, they really do take it seriously. And they go the extra mile. They give it their all. They put in effort. They're consistent. They're dedicated. Okay, let's clarify these cards. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles again, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So it really looks like someone is going to be presenting you with an opportunity for a new beginning. We have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. So they really want you. Like this is someone who's going to be quite persistent. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, if there's competition, they're not going to back down. This is someone who really wants to be with you. They want you to choose them. They're gonna try hard to show you that they're the real them so that they can so that you can choose them organically, like for who they are. This is someone who wants to make a, a good impression on you. And this is a trustworthy person. They really do feel like you're someone that they like they felt an instant connection with the full card there. And they're quite optimistic that you guys could be great counterparts. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have nothing gets yet set in stone, mutable moon. So this is still, it's like you're still deciding. Let's see. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And we have devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice series. Okay. 
Okay, we have surrender to passion. To so get, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Okay, so you are being advised to kind of step out of it, get out of your shell, especially if you are in that hermit energy. There's something about exploring a new connection, following your passion. You know, even if it doesn't lead to the Ten of Pentacles, there's something here about trusting the process. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.